Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medic Foundation plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today we are going to be discussing this uh, new toolbar for stem wall blockouts. And this is used in conjunction with the uh, Polyline stem wall tool. Uh, just wanted you guys to be aware that the other stem wall foundation tool, which draws rectangular and closed polygon uh, shapes, does not work with this. Um, uh, stem wall blockout tool. So just to be aware of that um, and you should be able to do pretty much everything that you do you know with the old tool with the new stem wall polyline tool and um, but uh, yeah just so you know we will probably be phasing this the old tool out. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate uh, this little, this uh, the tools here on this toolbar. But first of all we're going to throw down a quick grid <coughs> just so we have some kind of points we can utilize and then I'm going to go ahead and just draw a, a basic um, stem wall with the polyline stem wall tool. Just go ahead and leave all the uh, options as default and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the top bar off, turn off the bottom bar. Instead of doing that I'm just going to do horizontal and vertical bars instead. Uh, and you can leave these on with these on but um, yeah just we'll just I'm just going to do that. So go ahead and update that and then throw down some walls here. Yeah, that should be good enough. Alright, and of course again the down arrow terminates the wall, draws the foundation. Okay, um, so there's our stem wall and I'm going to change the transparency on this particular uh, material so we can kind of see what's happening with that rebar in there. Okay, so there you go. You've got vertical rebar, you've got horizontal rebar, and you've got a polyline stem wall. <coughs> okay, so that's you know that's pretty basic. But now let's go ahead and try this. So we just click the drop drop lock out, <coughs> and there's not a whole lot of options with this. Very simple. Uh, essentially, you've got the width of the block out, you've got the depth from the top of the uh, stem wall and you've got whether to remove anchor bolts or not. And I may add some other options um, so that it, you'll have the option whether to remove the rebar and also remove the insulation if there is insulation. But as you can see, as you mouse over the wall, and you need to actually mouse over the the, the outer edge, uh, essentially, of the wall to, to get it to register, but you can see that um, you're getting the dimension from the start uh, corner of the, of each wall segment and, and you'll see that and you know as you put these in you can key them in um, or you can just uh, you know go ahead and stretch it out where you want so I'm gonna go ahead and just drop one right here at five feet and let's go ahead and just update this uh, block out width to say um, I don't know let's see, 72 inches maybe what's that six feet and you can see that the preview gives you a little yeah, preview of where it's going to go. And you'll also notice that um, it's right now it's removing the anchor bolts because that's the option I've selected. And it's also removing, uh, trimming the rebar. Okay. <coughs> so there's a couple uh, blockouts. And you can put as many blockouts as you like uh, all over the. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this grid so you can see this better. You can. Uh, you know, put as many blockouts as you need to in, into a stem wall. It, it's basically uh, just keeping track of all those blockouts. The other thing too is, as you use that tool, you'll notice this hidden layer is coming on and off. Um, so if you to you can always toggle this on and off manually, just like uh, the slab on grade uh, tools, and it will uh, it just shows you you know what name and and what what those blockouts are. So. <coughs> and and I use that hidden layer because <coughs> when I'm wanting to manipulate these later on, then allows you to select them. So, for instance, now we're going to go ahead and hit the edit tool. And as you click that edit tool, you'll notice all of a sudden that layer, if it was turned off, comes on. And the reason is because now, as you mouse over each block out, um, you can it will allow you to select that block out, right? Because there's no actual physical thing being created, you're actually deleting geometry rather than creating new geometry so it needs something to be able to attach itself to so that you can select that block out okay so now I'm going to go ahead and change this for instance to 16 inches and you can see that it trimmed out the rebar even further 
<clears throat> and uh, you know, let's say I want to bump that up to 42 inches. Okay. Um, and let's let's go one more time here. I'm going to go like that. And you can see it's removing rebar and removing anchor bolts as you go along. So that's pretty much it for the edit function. It's not there's not a whole lot to it. It's it's really nothing more than the draw function, but you know, it it allows you and if you click on one wall and then you want to go edit the next one, you can do that. There's no problem with that. It just changes the menu and allows you now to alter this rather than, than this one. Okay. Um now let's go to the move function. So the move function, very simple again. You select your block out. Let's go ahead and select this one. And now you'll notice that you have a little arrow and you also can key in your uh, measurements as if you like. But in this case, um, and you know this is where it's good to have the grid, but I don't have the grid turned on. <coughs> it's nice to kind of just mouse to that. Let's just let's just put it to this to the essentially to this corner here. And what will happen is when I do that, it's going to shift the center of that over t over to where it was. So again, um, and then you can keep going. You know, if the tool doesn't end. You can just click another, click it again, and and go again. I'm going to go ahead and. This time I'm going to key in six inches. Okay, <clears throat> and so that's basically the move tool. There's not not much to it. Um, of course, the delete tool. That's very simple. Just select your block out that you want, and it will restore the wall to its previous state. And uh, let's go ahead and kill that one too. And so yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, you know, there really isn't too much to show other than the fact that um, you know, if you go ahead and create um, you know a block out, it will retain your previous um, measurements. And uh, <coughs> so let's let's go ahead and just drop one more here. I just want to show you one more thing with this thing. Um, so now I'm going to update this wall, and I'm going to change it. Um, Uh, let's see here. I'm going to add some insulation along that wall. Give it a second. It's going to update that whole thing, and it did. And so you can see that um, you know with these blockouts, you can. It's also trimming out the uh, insulation. I I may again, like I said, provide another option where you know, basically on a on a per blockout basis, you can. Determine whether or toggle whether you want that to actually trim that out or not, because there may be situations where you don't. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, concerns, comments, let me know. Um, but uh, I think this is a very valuable feature to have with the uh, stem wall polyline stem wall tool. Again, it's just these four icons up here called the blockout uh, toolbar. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy using it. Thank you very much.